And hello and welcome to our new player's must know guide. In this video we'll go through what we think is the most important things to know about Warframe. First follow the steps of the first quest. Pick any weapon you like and experiment with them. You can pick others later on. MK1 are the easiest to obtain from the market since they only cost credits and no resources. Regarding the first Warframe choice, Mag is the easiest to get later, then Excalibur and Volt. Volt requires you to be in a clan or guild. It is not hard to join when recruiting in the chat, but if you don't feel like joining a clan yet, then choose Volt, otherwise choose Excalibur. Most guys recommend Excalibur since he is strong, however ultimately I suggest you to choose what you think it will be the best choice for you, since you need a Warframe to farm other Warframes and resources. Try to use a Warframe wiki whenever you need information on something, as it is the best source of information. It includes weapon stats, Warframe abilities and drop chances. Do not waste your starting 50 Platinum, this will be useful later on when you are more experienced with the game. Or to buy 2 weapon slots for 12 Platinum or 1 or frame slot for 20 Platinum. As you progress the game, you are expected to try different weapons. I always try to reach level 30 with Warframes and weapons, even if you do not like them. And once you do, in case of weapons, you can check the wiki to see if they are required for another weapon. If they are not, you can sell them. Warframes, you can also sell them if you do not like them. If you make a mistake and you get rid of a weapon or warframe you liked, you can always craft another warframe or weapon by farming the parts and or buying the blueprint at the market. And if you need just for crafting another weapon, you don't need to have it at level 30 again. You simply buy the weapon and you can craft it. After you complete your first quest, I recommend you to clean some planet nodes to familiarize yourself with different mission types. These are the missions in the game. Your interpretation of these will change as you do them, depending on your playstyle. Try to have fun experimenting with different weapons. Also in your arsenal, try to upgrade your weapons with mods. I recommend using automatic features to select mods, just so it automatically puts something useful into all your weapons and warframes, and you familiarize yourself about modding without wasting too much time. You get a lot more mods as you play, so you should upgrade your weapons often. Do not waste any form or Orokin Reactor Catalyst yet. After you clean some nodes on Earth, you notice that there are some special nodes with small pointers on what you should do next. They are called junctions. Try to prioritize these for a reward. For example, a thing you can do is to try and reach Phobos, and reach the assassination node to kill the certain boss. This boss drops Warframe Mag. You have to kill it multiple times in order to be able to craft Mag. Here are the chances. You can buy the blueprint in a market for credits. After this you should do some quests as they are required for the junctions. These take a bit more time, but it will teach you more about the game, open new features and it will guide you. Finally, try to unlock all nodes on Mercury, Mars and Venus, so you can do the nightmare missions on them. These nightmare missions can be done daily and might be difficult as they have a challenge and are higher level, however people in public squads often do them and they might be able to carry you. Or if it is vampire mode, the easiest challenge because it heals you, you can probably do it on your own easily. This rewards you with rare mods, and there are super valuable rare mods that you can only get by doing these, plus most mods will help you become stronger. Depending on what time you are playing, you might want to focus on alerts, some can be really easy and often considered giveaways such as anniversary events. You can check the reward they give before you enter them, and they're often in a special tab, so they're easy to be seen on navigation. Since these are timed, you should prioritize these. Gold Purge and Thermia Fractures can be ignored as they return often. You should also try to go to Cetus in Earth, Vel Proxima in Venus, and if you are expert enough, Cambion Drift in Deimos. Each zone has a quest. After you finish the quest, you can do small bounty missions that give you some neat rewards on pseudo open world environments. One final thing you should know is that you can get free platinum for slots for free. This requires you to sell things you farmed. These things can be rare mods such as the nightmare mode ones, but there are also other things you can sell such as prime parts from void features. Once you are more experienced with the game, you will do void feature missions. They are like normal missions but can collect 10 reactants inside. This is required to open a relic. To get inside these missions, you choose a relic that you already have. 
These relics you often get in other missions, so you probably already have some. If you do not, you can easily get many by playing bounty missions such as Cetus on Earth. Depending on what relic you choose, you will get the prime part, which you can use to craft a prime weapon or a prime warframe. Try to always pick prime parts that are gold. If there is no gold, then go silver, and finally, if there is no silver, go bronze. Except forma blueprints, those can also be silver drops, but they aren't really that hard to get. Once you get many prime parts, you can sell them for duo cuts for Baroque Tear, which is an NPC that shows up every two weeks with many goods such as prime mods that are better versions of rare mods, skins and other goods. These are your endgame priority. Another thing you can do with prime parts is sell them to players on the website Warframe Market. Make an account there, list your parts and put yourself online in-game and people contact you to buy your parts for Platinum. They will invite you to their dojo. Or if you prefer, you can invite them to your dojo if you have one. Then you can do a trade there. This is your way to get Platinum for free. Make sure you study the values and compare values of your prime parts to make sure you do a good trade in the time you want to spend trying to sell it. Another thing you can do is try to sell in trade chat. But this is often taking too long and the Warframe Market website is very recommended. Make sure you put yourself offline in the website after you are done trading, or else you will keep getting whispers. And if you are offline in-game, it is just annoying for other players that want to buy from you, which is a bad thing to do. So be respectful and polite always when trading. Use the ignore feature in-game to stop bad players from talking to you. Mods that are max rank are way more valuable than rank 0. Make sure you check the prices for these in specific. The same is true for old vaulted prime parts. Vaulted parts mean that they are old pieces that can't be obtained for the time being, but will return to the game in months or years to come, unless an old player has an old vaulted relic that they are willing to use. A vaulted relic means he got a relic before it was vaulted, like the ones you are getting now can get vaulted in the next year. This is a way Warframe cycles content by having certain parts in a vault, and you can only get some at a time. So this concludes our guide. We tried to summarize as much as we could and decide on what we also wanted to know and learn when we started playing. If you have additional questions, feel free to ask them on the comments below. Me and the community, we will try to respond as best as we can. Even if you think it's a dumb Warframe question, still ask us, you never know how important it can be. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Stay tuned my friends.